Namaste. Namaste Azur. Namaste. Namaste everyone. Namaste Sapalai. Welcome to Nepal. Okay, so namaste everyone, namaste Sapalai. Welcome in this new video in which I will answer a very important question. Why I choose Nepal? Why I live here? Why Nepal became my home? In short, what did I like so much here that I choose to embrace this country, its culture and put my suitcase here? It's been several years I live here. It's been one year now I started this YouTube channel uh, in order to promote Nepal, to share my experience, to share my love for Nepal and to show how much this country is cool. So uh, from the Tarai to the Himalaya, I've been walking many paths, discovering many cultures as in Nepal, there are many different cultures. I discovered also the unity of Nepal. I have met many people and it's a wonderful experience to travel all around Nepal. But I realized I didn't answer a very important question. How did I came here? What was my first impression of Nepal? And when came this moment when you realize this is not a touristic travel anymore? This is your home. My name is Tanguy. Here in Nepal, we can say Tanguy Dai. I come from France, but my soul became Nepali. So feel free to join the community and follow the social media. Now let's go and let's answer this question. Why do I live in Nepal? Let's go. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let's go for sure, but let me just organize a bit the story, right? Mm, first, let's rewind and then where does it start? Mm, yes, that's here, 2014. The first footage of me in Kathmandu, first ever. There is my good friend Quentin and here is my mom. Yes, really, my mom. She's kind of living in Nepal, you know? I'm not kidding. Actually, with her companion, she created a children's home here. So together they take care of Nepalese children and try to provide them a brighter future. So you will ask me why I was not there before. That's a good question. Well, simply because with Quentin, it's been few years we crossed the world as journalists. And till now, I didn't get any time to come to Nepal. But finally, here we are all together in the streets of Kathmandu. This is my face, like a close-up, and this is the Buddhist stupa of Bodnat. And obviously this is the place where the story really begins. Everything starts uh, at the stupa, but simply because this is the first place uh, that I arrived when I was in Nepal. This is the first one. So at that time when I arrived, I'm not considering at all uh, uh, the fact of living here. You know, I'm just discovering a place uh, that I don't know anything about. So that's that's my first impression. It's all about the first impression, right? I mean, like sometimes you can be wrong on a first impression, but. Uh, for me, uh, definitely right. I mean, like it, it has been like a, a love at first sight, I can say. And I had visited lots of places in the world. Has uh, my job of journalist uh, uh, brought me uh, in all the corners of the, the club? But when I came here the first time, I mean, like. Oh my god, it was like, what is this place? You know, it, it, it doesn't look like any other place in the world. It's, uh, it was really, uh, um, the, the, the feeling was really strong, you know, like, you can feel right now. I mean, like, there is, there is a big energy, you know, it, 
And I think that that's the first thing that took me here. Uh, the, all these prayer flags, uh, the uh, wheel prayer, uh, the pigeons who are flying, the incense fumes, monks, uh, uh, Tibetan, uh, people from Himalayas, but also, I mean, everyone. It's, it's a huge uh, community here. I mean, like, everyone is coming here to turn around the stupa because this is called the Kora. And uh, when you turn like this around the stupa, I, it, it's uh, like uh, you are some, some way purifying uh, your soul and uh, uh, reaching closer, uh, getting closer to the, the enlightenment. It was wonderful because, of course, it was beautiful because people are beautiful, because there is this energy. And the main thing is because I could feel, and I can feel still today, uh, an obvious peace, you know, like people are in peace. Uh, there is this strong energy, but there is this strong peace as well. I mean, everything is about the peace here. I mean, like uh, the prayer flags uh, are about peace because uh, the mantras who are written uh, on the flags, when the, fly, the, the flags are flying, then the, the, the prayers are flying also and the peace is spread all over the world. Uh, same for the prayer wheel, uh, because the mantras are written on the prayer wheel. So when the people are turning uh, the, the wheel, then the, the mantra is spread. Uh, the pigeons also, uh, when they fly like this, when they, it's beautiful, you know, they are uh, flying all over the stupa and they spread the peace as well. The place is alive because the belief of the devotees who come here, they are alive. So it's not a museum, you know, like in Western world. It's a living place. It lives, uh, it prays, uh, it smells, it sings. And so all this atmosphere was the let's say the, the first element that uh, really uh, captured me. So that's why I decided, in fact, to, to stay a little bit more, to spend more time here uh, than, than I was supposed to. On uh, April 25, 2015, uh, there was this uh, terrible earthquake uh, in Nepal. So for me, it happens just at the moment, you know, where I'm, I'm leaving my patient with, uh, with Boda. Uh, with the stupa and uh, then then comes this terrible earthquake and this terrible time and for me it's like oh my god it's completely breaking the story I mean like a uh, uh, terrible bad luck uh, yeah so difficult time I mean even the stupa had no longer head you know like for me it was like uh, the place where I was falling in love like was destroyed the stupa had no more head man uh, it was very hard to see I quickly realized that something huge, huge was happening, uh, of course here, but into my life, and I had, a I felt like I had the decision to take, and uh, the decision was uh, like easy to take. I mean, with my family, we decided to stay. It was difficult times, and when you live difficult times with people, then I, I think after you feel linked to these people, you feel linked to the the place where you have lived these events. And uh, that, uh, that's what happened to me, I guess, like uh, living and sharing this difficult moment with Nepalese people after I was feeling like, okay, now I, there is one step more. I think I belong here now. Like, I mean, at least there is a part of me uh, that belongs to this place after what we live together. People were saying and claiming, uh, we will rise again. Uh, we will rise again was the kind of new mantra in Nepal. It was like a mantra of hope, like we are going to be back. Uh, don't worry, we are Nepal. We, uh, we are down right now, we have one knee on the floor, but we are going to stand again, we are going to rise again. Rising again, it means uh, to restart, to rebuild. It's not that easy, but I don't know, I felt like uh, uh, I wanted to be part also of this story, you know? Okay, coming. 
second one, take, take two. Take. And uh, I could see people, they were right, you know, they were right. Uh, the life has resumed. Uh, I mean, the music, the dances, uh, customs, smiles, everything has reappeared. I mean, uh, all the essence of Nepal. And so, uh, me, I decided uh, to dive fully into it. So the stupa was uh, getting, let's say, uh, a uh, makeover, a big makeup. Uh, during the makeup of the stupa, I guess. This is during that time that I really started to to dive in Nepal, to uh, to start to learn uh, Nepal, how to behave, uh, how to get around, uh, to take a tempo. I think this is the time uh, I started to have uh, some uh, friends here. Hey man, how are you, Tangadai? And uh, with them, I think I learned uh, that uh, in Nepal you had to be strong. And that uh, me too, I have to mutate uh, myself. And uh, of course, I learned that here if you have to know some Nepali songs, because you have to sing sometimes. Uh, I think I learned also how to, you know, shake my head to say yes. I think I learned uh, that uh, to cross a road in Nepal, uh, you should not wait, you should Go, you should go definitely. And the time I learned out of this, the, the stupa has regained his head, the head was back. I've seen this place uh, coming back to life like a phoenix and uh, it helped me to start to uh, plant some of my roots here and probably that's why uh, the process of living here started um, here at this tuba. As it's a special day Tamang Zatra. For once, it's very rare now we can go on the stupa. So I take my chance. Finally, finally. <laughs> Oh, finally, finally, finally. finally. <laughs> three years, three years. Man, oh, this man, is the man. best place to meet oh you. Oh my God, see? Oh man, after three the years, window? after three years, yeah. I meet one of my best friends on oh the stupa, God. on the stupa, man. Man, you have such a great style. <laughs> you look so cool, man. <laughs> so happy. So as you, Welcome, so Sanju. Our good friend, Sanju, just back in Nepal. Yeah. Yeah, after three years, mm -hmm. I was keeping, holding the place. I was there to be sure that the place is okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, correct, true, correct, huh? correct. You go abroad, That's you go abroad. I have to stay here, no? Yeah. I have to take care yes. of the place, right? <laughs> Let's light some candles. Where? Gyubati Balnu Pario. Where? Ah, that's in the Malay. Eta, in I'm from Dalan. From Dalan? Yes. Dalan people. I will be back in Dalan very soon. Yes, I'll meet you there. <laughs> I'm not that right, huh? I'm not that right. I'm not that right. See you again. Bye bye. 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 See you. First one, two. Santi Kolagi. Santi Kolagi, da. Yo, Paribar Kolagi. Then Sati Kolagi. Oh, my dear. Uh, okay. Yo, Sati Ko. Ani Nepal Kolagi. Oh, hey, you are. Nepal Kalagi. Sangai Garnera. Joy Nepal. Joy Nepal, Zen Nirvana. Why I live here? Why I love here? 
I mean, the real question is, what is different here than where I come from? I think it's life. Like we have seen with the stupa, it's a monument, but it's a living monument. The streets here, uh, they are not only streets, they are really alive streets. I like to call it like a whirlwind of life, you see? A very uh, intense, uh, bubbling uh, feeling in the streets of Kathmandu. The small jobs uh, that you can find in the streets, for me, they create uh, this bubbling of life, this proximity between the people, the link between the people. It creates the movement, uh, colorful, dusty, uh, but a very poetic movement. Oh, Dai. Sanjay. Chia Pancha. Chia Oh, Chia. Ela. Sanjay, you enjoy it? Like them. La, Melo Chia. Eh, Tato. Kalo Chia. Eh, Danibat. Danibat. I like this. You can. There are some sellers of. Uh, they just sell the tea like this in the street. You just hang out. Koti ba yode? Pardena kano. Pardena? Okay. Yeah, that was pay sa dinchu malai. Ani pardena pardena. Mero upar? Okay. Okay. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, this is Nepal, definitely. Uh, so when the streets are full of smiles, full of kindness, uh, then it's easier to feel home quickly. Ça va Dorji? Ça va très bien. Ça va très bien. Yeah. Mero sati Dorji. Tabaiko ba salma kete? Kitchen equipment. Real good things in, in behind. Yeah, that's true. Hiding place, you know, you need to go and find these things, real like, things. Like your shop? Is, yeah, like is a hiding this. place? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So, in uh, my first video, uh, I was in the Asan uh, district and one guy, he told me this sentence that I will never forget. Uh, he said, um, Which means like from the salt to the gold, you will find everything. And it, this is exactly uh, the idea of uh, what I want to explain of the streets uh, of Nepal, mainly Kathmandu, of course. It's that you can find anything, anything is possible. If you are searching, of course, for food, uh, fruits, uh, vegetables, uh, even if you want a, a, a chicken, an, a live chicken, living chicken. Uh, if you are searching for, I don't know, uh, kitchen equipment. I don't know if you suddenly realize that in your home you need a, a, weaker, a weaker stool, you know, that's possible. Your knives are not in good state. Then there is a knife sharpener. Let's say you need a, a haircut quickly. Uh, well, you just have to push the door of the barber. Uh, you need uh, to repair your shoes. The shoemaker is in the street. You need to clean your bike. Uh, the serv bike servicing is in your street. You need to sew something. Uh, the, the seamstress is in your street. Uh, your watch is not working anymore. Uh, the watchmaker is in your street. Uh, you need to carry uh, your luggage or a big furniture, there are the porters in the streets and it's close to you. I mean, like it's in one street, you will find everything. So that makes, according to me, the life very comfortable. There is the uh, knife uh, sharpener and I'm following one just now. Okay, so that's the thing, the, the guy is going from shop to shop asking if people need their knives to be sharp. And uh, here in this shop, they, they say yes. So we can see the process. Okay, 
So, I think it's time for a haircut. Namaste, Dai! <laughs> Sanjay, Sanjay. 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 Dai, Sanga, ki Bai, Sanga. <laughs> As Danibad, fast, efficient, better than uh, any anyone in France. Namaste Azul! Dalbat Tarkari Kolagi, eh? Yeah! Sanjay Dai! Sanjay, is that what you think? Raj, 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 Take it, yeah. La la la. Take care, huh? La la la. Very better, la day. Yeah, we we know each other for a long time with this with this man. He's living in the street. It's also one reality of the the streets of Nepal. We should not close eyes on this. Help them as much as we can. Namaste, day. Namaste, Sanjay. Egdame, arame. Ani juta juta safa ganu pariyo aita. Is the shoes repairer. Nepali ma ke bansa? Juta silaune. Juta silaune. Okay, so when your shoes like mine, a uh, little bit in a bad state. Purano aile? Purano sa aile man naya banay din sa. That's the thing. That's the thing. Naya Juta, yo. Aye. <laughs> Just perfect. Thank you so much. Okay. La. Good day. <laughs> so that's the thing. You can almost buy everything in the street like a <laughs> like this. Namaste, day. Okay, bhai. Uh, Murakoti, bhai, yo. Time to say pass passas. Ari kati mira uni ki. Chhor se passas mein chhor, day. Monsa? Eh. Yeah, so that's beautiful Nepali seat, Mura. Mura. Ramlo? Yo kam konam keo? Kabari. Kabari, huh? Kabari. Ani, cartoon line. Oh, cho pasalma, garma. Eh, la la la. Menche, menche dine? Menche aru dine chan? Eh, la. Now it's very helpful for the the area, and after these people, they can make a little bit of money. So they do like this. They. This cream, kabari, kabari. This sound, you know, it's a, it's a sound, uh, it's a sound of Nepal, definitely. Kabari, test again, yeah. Yeah, when you are home and you hear this sound, you know they are, they are in the street, so you can prepare your cartoon, uh, beer bottle, and give to these people. So like this, me too. I prepared my own uh, <clears throat> few bottles of beers. Just two or three, I guess. Et ta rakne? La. Mincha, ça paye. Ek tu tima? Eh, ça te. Maya, 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 Maya. Maya, namaste Maya. Kapula, lasso, lasso, lasso. Lasso, kapula. Lasso, kapula, lasso. Sonja, Sonja. Sonja, ama, où t'es chez moi? Garma. Ama, ama, il est France, ma. एक मौना एक मौना पच्चीस आऊँ जा। ये लाला। केरे राम लोग इस चोटी को चाह मैं ले पाऊँ। ओह माला इतना चाह। आमा तब आई को राम लोग साथी हो। आमा लाई साथी ली केरे इस चोटी चाह। तो चाह माला। कतमंडु को सब बंदा राम लोग मुस्कान कत्ता हो। साथी दे। आरे मैं नज़ू टेंगे दे। आरे मैं वीडियो किस चू Katmandu ma dekha unu pariyo hai na? Aray, say cheese! Sab tik chai? It's good, right? I didn't know. How are you? I'm good, I'm good. I'm making video like... Why I choose to live in Nepal. Tapai like four pani man person to Nepal go. Tapai ko bichan ma kina? Tapai ko bichan ma kina? Ramro sanya, abhi Nepal, abhi Nepal dosto... Kena ke Ramro desa? Kena ke Ramro ni taangi taay. Nepal dosto... Namaste. Nepal dosto, Nepal dosto desa is hai na kaayi po ni kunai po ni sanjar ma. Welcome to Nepal. Danya ba, danya ba. Ramro man cha cha. Even in our... Ramro muskan cha. Muskan Ramro cha. Zindagi Ramro cha. Jeevan Ramro cha. Bato Ramro cha. Tai ba ira. Yaha bas chup. Surga zanai por dey na. Nepal aay unso surga anubav garni ho bani. Aay ni. Aay ni. 
Evan Smith, Nepal is real. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> good man, very good. <laughs> yeah, okay, say you. you. Say you. Bye. 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 <laughs> <laughs> guys, that, that's why I live in Nepal. Uh, subscribe, subscribe. This is Thank what we time. call uh, the Sun Pasal. Sun Pasal. So, Jewel, gold, uh, Biheko. Keep on saying Jewel, Nepal. Uh, Biheko, Gahana. 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 Uh, oh. Mongol Sutra. Mongol Sutra. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, this guy can make anything. You know, you need to fix a ring. In France, they will they will always say like, no, not possible. Not possible. No, they look there. No. You have to buy a new one. Alright. Yeah. It's but, nice. it, but with you? I, I can do all the things you like. You can do everything. I, I can do everything. In Nepal, every, anything is possible. Everything is possible. Yeah. <laughs> in that's, Nepal. Why we, that's why we love Nepal, man. <laughs> we love Nepal. <laughs> See you, Rishi. Right, love you. you. Love you, Rishi. <laughs> Sorry, Dai. Sorry. Sanjay. <laughs> okay, we can see still that the, the streets are very alive. But uh, another element that made me fall uh, in love with Nepal is that once you set a foot there, uh, you discover immediately that Nepal is both uh, multiple and united. Many uh, ethnic groups, language, I mean, culture, uh, festival, dishes, beliefs. I mean, Nepal is a whole universe, but all united under the same flag. A very unique flag, by the way, which is the only one in the world who have this shape of two triangles. All united also on a, a unique calendar. Uh, we are going soon to be uh, in the year 2080. And all united and sung uh, under the, the same national anthem. Uh, the lyrics, they say, uh, we all uh, Nepali, of uh, different languages, races, religions, or social affiliations. Uh, we are flowers uh, of the same garland, Nepal. Uh, I feel there is always a new door which leads to a, another aspect of the country. It's like it's never finished to discover, really. This diversity is crazy, you know. And I had the chance, I mean, to, to see this diversity. Uh, from uh, the Tarai with Tarus tribes who have their own uh, clothes, uh, dances, food, uh, to the Annapurna in the north of the country, uh, a Buddhist land with uh, Himalayan custom, and uh, then passing through the hills of the east with uh, lots of Kirat culture, uh, fields of tea, and what I like a lot and makes me really like Nepal is that I feel it's a very unique situation in the world, you know, to have that much of diversity uh, in, a, in a small country, but to be able to maintain a unity and peace. So, very milera, so very yora, this is man Nepali. Ajur, man Nepali. Tio, mero bicharma, sansarma, egdami unique. Ajur, ajur. The bed bab China. Aye? Oni. Bed bab China. Sun teacher. Ajur, sun teacher. Alkotoma, Kirati Mencia Rucha, Taru Mencia Ruchan, Sherpa Mencia Ruchan, Chetri Mencia Ruchan, Sapai Mencia Ru, Mirena Bastrana. Miller was a Kalipan Yurgo Bisma, Pite China, Chagala China. Terry Miller was so. Our Amisonaton, Dharma Manzo. I always felt like it means if you, if you protect the diversity, if you let the people uh, expressing their roots, their own culture, then the unity under uh, same flag uh, makes more sense because everyone is represented. All right, let's start with the dress. I mean, like every uh, ethnic of Nepal have dresses, and here in this shop, they have all the, the dresses. Master Zor, Namaste, Santayuncha, Arame, Arame. Oh, oh, oni, oni, oni. Luga, kimi thi. Rai ko luga kine kati. Aza. Sab. Sab. Rami ro mai. Ani aza pani na ya luga thrai karnu pariyo. Kine kiti mo video banana shu. 
Animo. Que bon ça. Diversité. N'est pas que diversité des gaoncho. Ani. Luga. Tatiaru. Lugaru. Derechan. Oui, non, n'est pas moi. Tu y vas, Yara. Ça y est. Tu vas aller malade des gaoncho là. Tu vois. Kun luga cha. Kun zatiaru cha. Bon ça. Bon ça. Bon ça. Bon ça. Je suis Amuna. Nice to meet you, Amuna. Je suis un animateur. 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 Je suis un Comme <laughs> Est-ce <laughs> Yo, Ramlo. Ah, yo, eh. I really like the Sharpa one. Very nice. Yo, yo. I'm the Magi dress. Magi. Magi. Yo, oh. yeah. Azurko Zati. Mira Zati. Azur. <laughs> Magi ko yo sari, Padia. Choli. Yo, Kitty ko lagi. Kitty ko lagi yeah. yo. Kitty ko lagi yo. Mati ko choli, Sol. Sol, I'm the oh. Magi ko yo boat. Un sa Magi ko ay. Boat, fish, mata ay. Just pati imal. I'm from Paltar, so. Can I Maji Mancharu? Macha Marsan? Macha Marsan? Words along, son. Magico, get a good dress, Lounge. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, Maji Bayo. Eh, Maji Bayo. 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 Ticha, ticha, ni? Eh. Nepal ko janda, laga unu pario. Eh. If you want to find the traditional dress, ça pas une traditionnelle luga pour une chaise, hein? Pas si ça y est, on est. On est ramlo, ramlo menche à l'usanga. Ah, on nous, ah on nous parie au, ah on nous parie au, qui nous parie au? Eh, afno sanskriti yoga on nous parle ça? On est luga sanga, sanskriti yoga on est. Fine. Another thing that made me fall in love with Nepal is, of course, the food. The food is amazing in Nepal. Nepal is definitely a country of food, and there is uh, lots of ethnies, lots of cultures. Uh, all this diversity, you you will find it definitely in the food. And uh, today, I will be with the best person ever uh, to uh, try some food. Bro, namaste. Sanchez, Siddhartha, 
the yes, yes, best brother. food blogger in Nepal. Thank you, thank you. Sorry thank for keeping you wait. It's okay, man. No worries. <laughs> Nepali time, no? Nepali <laughs> time. <laughs> How long you have been interested that much with the food? Like, I mean, it came to you like a revelation or it makes sense naturally? Or? For me? Yeah. I think I was born with it, you know? Yeah. Like, yeah, I mean, because yeah. Food is just part of our life, you know, because every time, you, whenever you work, or when you go anywhere, you have to eat, right? Yeah, yeah, so whenever yeah. you go to a different place, you always look for something authentic or local over there. Oh, yeah, yeah. And you always get that in Nepal. Okay? That's the beauty of Nepal, I think, because go here, they are south, north, east, but they have their own style. So what you will suggest for today? Maybe we should do some Tibetan food, you know, Shepa food, yeah, yeah. because that's also a part of Nepal. It's because exactly. That's why we are here at Shambhala Cafe. Shambhala. This is one of the most Famous, I need to say, in Bodo okay. for Tibetan and Sherpa food. Definitely Tenduk. Tenduk is Yeah, Tenduk good. is very popular. Then we should go for Chevalet. Chevalet, well, yeah. I like it, yeah. Okay. But they have something very new in this menu because I love this dish called Dry Dipping Momo. Dry Dipping Momo, okay. Yeah, this is very new in the market and I think only Shambhala Cafe has in Nepal. name is dipping momo so okay, okay. then yeah. oh my god so good <laughs> I mean, it's very thin light mm. it's like melting in your exactly. mouth you, you, you just can't swallow it, it just goes inside. yeah <laughs> my god it's so good <laughs> so this is the breakfast tibetan breakfast tibetan bread yeah so with aloo for potatoes omelette and omelette so yeah. normally when you go up there in the trekking area especially yeah. Breakfast, the very famous breakfast is this. Yeah. Anywhere you go, the Tibetan bread and aloo. We know that we need to walk a long walk yeah. in the daytime. So the most fulfilling and satisfying this the breakfast is this roti. How was it? Ready to trek, man. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go, man. Let's reach Muktinath now. <laughs> For it. I like it this way. I think this is the peanut sauce. Look at that. Mm. Mm. Wow. So this is actually a very popular winter food in the Serpa community called Tanduk. So back in the days, I think it was difficult to find this in restaurants because this was a very homely food. Think what? what? Homely food. Yeah, used to, homely people food. used to make it at home because it's very, in, I mean, in a way, it's very easy to make because it's just dough sliced into pieces and boiled with veggies and meat. And nowadays, what happens is like, since people are so much into food, they want to know, they want to eat different food of different community, and this also gained a lot of popularness in times, and now you can find in so much of restaurants in Bodo. Mm. Mm. Oh. The meat is so tender. Exactly. Mm. See, whenever you have cold or whenever you are sick, yeah, exactly. this is normally in Shaiba community they eat this. Mm. Shakti Dine. Mm. And uh, how's that just there? Like that. And there's meat, so protein also. Protein, you have everything. I feel like it's like uh, Nepal is a universe with many planets. Mm -hmm. One day you say, oh, let's visit the Newari planet. <laughs> you know, like in Star Wars, you know, they change the planet like this. <laughs> so we are, you know on the planet, planet Tibet Sherpa today. <laughs> it's a good planet. Very good. <laughs> What's 
What's your plan? So now I think we've had the breakfast and the Tibetan food, so we'll go for an authentic Shepa food called Wilduk. That's inside the Kora area, so let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go on the Kora. Authentic. Yes, this place called Solu Balkanze Sherpa Khazagar. Yeah. So let's go? Yeah, let's go. <laughs> oh my god. Really? I mean, this one will kill us. Did you kick over? You're a queer, 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 So it's really authentic food. Okay? Yes, it's hundred percent. You know, like up there when there's not much of food available, it's just potato, mm. and you just make it out of it. It's, it's fully melting in your mouth in one shot. You see? Yeah. It's like evaporating. It just goes. Boom yeah. into the mouth. I can handle pirro now. You can? Okay, let's uh. add all of this. Suru <laughs> magarotio. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> BDC ko jibro, you know? Bali boy. Kuire ko jibro. Aile melo jibro, ali kati Nepali. That will make a good song. Melo jibro Nepali. After yo monta melo Nepali. Melo jibro Nepali. Speaking about identities, belongings, uh, the original inhabitants of uh, the Kathmandu Valley, they are the Newa people. And uh, yeah, today actually is uh, uh, New Year Eve, uh, actually Ekgate, the first day of the, uh, the New Year, uh, 2080. Uh, so today there is a big festival, a Newari Zatara, and uh, so I'm waiting someone actually, uh, someone I've been in touch uh, through the Instagram. I like to be in the contact like this with the community. All right. Jojo Lapat. Namaste, namaste. Sanjay. Sanjay, Yeah. Namaste, Azu. Sanjay, Sanjay. So, your name is Ajay. Yeah. Ajay. Yeah, Ajay. You can call me AZ. AZ? Yeah. AZ. Okay. Okay, here we go. Thank you, Jira. So, you're Timmy Gau, huh? This is called Newar Bosti Dai. It's a big Newari culture here. Yeah. Namaste Azur. Namaste, Namaste. Namaste. This one is Balkumari Mandir. Okay. The main Mandir of Kimi. Friend Uncle. He is the mayor of our multiple team. Oh, oh, mayor. Like Namaste, Azul. From Namaste. the France. Sanchai, you're in here. I'm in France. Also. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Jojo Lapa. Good atmosphere already, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Namaste. 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 Teddy, <laughs> teach me some Newari. Yeah, so... For I know, thank you is Suba. Suba, yeah. Suba. For Namaste, Jojo, Jojo Lapa Pintula. Yeah. Pintula is like congratulations. Hey, or, okay. I yeah. thought it was like... Jojo Lapa Matre, Mirjo. Jojo Lapa Matre. Okay. And he, for welcome, you can say Laskus. Laskus? Yeah. Laskus, okay. Yeah. Swagat. Swagat. Yeah. Swagat, welcome. Laskus. Yeah, 
Subway 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 Thank you man I love You know I love Cheng That's one of the reasons I love Nepal <laughs> Thank you man There is my restaurant Okay yeah, I need Cheng, Cheng Pao Chabani Pao Chabani Yeah, let's go then. <laughs> We are in a hurry. No, no, no. I guess the Boston Hotel. Is there a restaurant in the Oh, sorry, Ferry? Sajan Buzan. Sajan Buzan. Garucha. Sajan Buzan. So, you can try it. Sure, sure. Try Good to know. And now you want to in Newari style? Newari style, okay, Newari okay. style, of course. Oh. Choy lao, huh? Choy lao, it's buff choy lao. Buff, buff choy lao. Huh? Have you ever tried before? Mm. But yours is very good. Mm. Mm. Mixed butter, one of my favorites. Good to know, sir. Uh, good to know. <laughs> this, oh my god. Chang. Chang. Chang is the best. That's a lot. In France, we say santé. Santé means to your health. Santé, santé, guys. Santé. Okay. Buff koji bro. Buff koji bro, guys. Sorry, what you say? How many you take? Jibro costume mito. You are lucky, huh? You have good culture, good food, huh? Okay. Gampe, gampe, gampe. Okay, thank you, man. So, today we have like in Sanskrit, Atiti Deva Bhava. Atiti Deva Bhava. That means all the guests, all the one are God for us. Pauna Bhagwano. Bhagwano. True, guys. Oh my God. This is Sanskrit word, and we follow that because you are like for us God. That's true, guys. Thank you, man. You are, word. you are also for me. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Because you make my new home very yeah, that comfortable. You can make this home. Yeah, this is yes, my new yes. home, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, man. No, that is. Suba. Suba, 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 suba. Yeah. <laughs> Somehow tipsy day, right? <laughs> yeah, look at it. <laughs> Thank Let's go for the procession now. Yeah, so you are familiar with the uh, right? No, it's my first February. Oh. Oh. You have to be careful now. I have to Don't be worry, I'll protect you. Protect Don't worry. Mero, mero Don't worry.
the plot. Okay, guys, I, I have to admit that yeah. I took a real shot of Nepal. Yeah. All right. Oh, all man. Right, all right. <laughs> that is 50%. Tomorrow is 100. And he says it's only 50%. Yeah. <laughs> they can do double. They can do double of this. <laughs> That's the way of Timmy, man. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And you do like this every year. Every year. So it means for us, okay. Allah. If you want to learn how to celebrate a new year, yeah, come yeah, to Timmy, right. man. Yeah. Come to Nepalese. Timmy. Okay, That's the way. Jai Nepal, guys. Jai Nepal. Jai Goro, Jaso Goro, Jota Sukai Lai. Jomalai. Yomon Tamero Nepali Ho. Yomantanero Nepalio. It's a very famous uh, song. Yomantanero Nepalio. My soul is Nepali. So it makes the best uh, transition I was expecting uh, because I have to speak uh, about music. I mean, Nepal is definitely a country of music. At every corner of Nepal, you will find music, traditional music. I mean, it's part of the identity of Nepal and it's a strong identity. I mean, people are really proud of their music. Uh, you can see how they sing it. How they play it, how it, it takes a very important place uh, in the Nepalese, in the life of Nepali people. I'm in Kathmandu and the uh, Durbar Mark, uh, which is one of the main. Oh, yeah, man, one of the main avenue of Kathmandu, and there is a yeah, man, a street uh, street festival, uh, music festival. So there is a very uh, famous band of traditional music which is going to play. It. Name is Kutumba. Sarangi. 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 Sarangi is a Purano instrument. Uh, so, um, Sarangi has been mentioned, especially the Gandharvas, has been mentioned from very, very long time. Yeah. During the epic uh, uh, Mahabharata and Ramayana, there was a community called Gandharvas. So, who used to be uh, the singer? So, in the heaven, there are angels who dance, and the Gandharvas are the musicians and the singers. So it is said that we are the descendant from the heaven to the earth to spread the music. Swarga ko sangito? Sama. So you, you would say Nepal is a country of music, it's important to the people. Oh, Nepal is so much diversified with music yeah. that it's so unique because I've, I've traveled around the world, I've listened to a lot of music from gypsy, jazz, R&B, blues, folk. Nepal has a different texture of music. It's not only in Kathmandu. You go from east to west, you'll find a diverse music. Diverse. Nepal is very diverse. 
that's the richness of the country also. Yeah, it's also the music is connected with the livelihood here. So when someone is sad, there's music. Someone is happy, there's music. Someone, a kid is born, then there's music. Music is everywhere, from wedding, every elements of life. And I think Nepal should get its ident identification around the world with this aspect of culture, uh, tradition, and music. It will stand out around the world. I have to say uh, thank you for everything you do. Thank you for this music because I, it makes me feel, you know, it, it has been one step to love Nepal for me. There are many aspects why I love Nepal, but the music has been very important. And thank well, you for what you do. It's pleasure. And then I always love uh, people coming from abroad to give interest to us to music. Mm. With all, it's always a step towards taking this music to the world. And thank you so much. Thanks to you, man. Thank you. Thank, thank you so much, Kiran. It's a good day. La. Vista de Janeiro, Tixa, Tixa day. Right now, I'm in the district of uh, Tamel. Uh, Tamel is a historic district. Of, uh, of Kathmandu, it has become very, very touristic uh, district. But this is the place where the events uh, happened. Uh, tonight, uh, there is one very famous uh, singer, and his name is Sabine Rai. He's one of my favorite, maybe my favorite, I have to say, favorite singer of Nepal. He's from Daran, the east of Nepal. Hey, Eta Chadei, Omnia Club, Omnia Club, Eta. Namaste Azur. 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 Je m'appelle Tanguy. Ah, Tanguy. Tanguy. <laughs> hello, how do you say hello in France? We can say uh, bonjour. Bonjour. Bonjour, ça va? Bonjour, ça va. It means namaste, teacher. Oh, bonjour, ça va. Bonjour, ça va. <laughs> bonjour, ça va, France. <laughs> France, teacher. Tu as vu que tu vlog et tu as vu uh, France, man. Oh, Nepali. Nepali Hana. Oh, Nepali. 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 O
Basu. 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 For me, for me, it has been very important. Oh, okay. Thank you so much, man. music is mostly Western music song. inspired by our culture. We typical look. So, I am Western music or influence by our. music or dialer. I तो हमने टिपिकल नेपाली पन बापू जो लोग गीत और जावरे और उते उनसे ने अगर नेपाली पन बोके करो तेज तो चाहिए ना तो अर्थ हमारे से आप आई डोंट नो तो लाइक आम्र म्यूजिक से जो साम्र इट्स नॉर्मल लाइक आई डोंट नो तो उतार के इंस्पिरेंस It's a voice of Nepal. It's a it's a sound of Nepal. Nepal Nepal ko songito. Ani sapai mencharu lai testeo. Ko ti derai mencharu dekhe manai. Sapai ko gitaru baja unchan. Kto garba unchan. Rastriya garba unchan. Sapai ko gate a oncha, sapai manche cha. No ghost bomb, ghost bomb a oncha. Nepali ghost bomb a oncha. Kahi baaye ra chhu. Mai de. Sochi ko chhu chhu. Sapai ko sangit, rastriya sangit ho. Nicht Kancha, nicht Puncha, Eis, alles ist Puncha. Dann hebt, er wird einmal drehen sich schon. Sehr gut, sehr gut. So, what was the question? Ah, yes, why I live in Nepal? I tried to give you some reasons, but I guess the best one is the way Sabine Rai moves moves like Nepal in a jerky way, sings like Nepal with a husky voice. He makes people proud to belong here. He makes me feel I belong here. So we sing our love for Nepal. Yeah. 